guys. I definitely miss you guys so much. I've been sick for some time. I had the cold and then I had this horrendous cough and I just could not film. I, I did film a horrendous video on how I get ready when I'm sick. Um, if you saw that, yeah, it was a hot mess. But, um, yeah, if you saw that, then you know that I have been sick for some time. So that's why I couldn't really film. So I do apologize. And I have been feeling much better uh so i decided to do a tutorial for you guys and this is off of pumpkin and poppy's one ring collection um if you're not familiar with pumpkin and poppy it is a line that was created by veggie beauty here on youtube i will link her youtube channel down below and also her shop and um yeah she just comes up, out with beautiful beautiful stunning collections they just keep getting better as they progress and um, this collection is no exception. And if you are a fan of Lord of the Rings, you will definitely love this. But if you're not a fan of Lord of the Rings, you will still love this. I, for one, am not a huge fan of Lord of the Rings. I've seen a couple of their movies. Um, but uh, this collection is stunning. And she definitely uh, takes a lot of inspiration from that movie. And um, she definitely applied it to this collection. So, absolutely stunning. Um, so, I'm going to share with you the five pigments first. So, um, I'm going to start off with the most intimidating pigment, which is Evil Eye. And in my tutorial, I briefly explain um, the inspiration uh, for these colors, but I'm just going to uh, show you really quickly what the pigments look like. So, this is Evil Eye. And her husband makes all of the beautiful labels, and I absolutely love this label. And this is just a intense red orange. It is a matte, almost a satin. It's stunning. And then next we have Shire, which is a green gold. And it has a slight duochrome to it. And this is Shire. You can see that sheen. It's stunning. Next is Archer, which is probably by far my favorite pigment. It is a golden taupe. And it's absolutely stunning. And here it is. It's beautiful dry. It is even more stunning when it is a wet pigment. Next we have Wise Wizard, which is a matte. It is a medium gray with blue undertones, and here it is, and it just pops amongst all the rest of the colors. It's absolutely beautiful, and I love Wise Wizard with Archer. I wore that yesterday, and it was gorgeous. I, uh, I tried to use all the pigments today, so um, that's why, you know, there's a pop of orange, and... I just, I love this look. So, the next one is Strider. And Strider is a deep matte hunter green. And there it is. It is beautiful. Her pigments are absolutely stunning. Um, they're so easy to blend and work with. Uh, I've had many pigments uh, before in the past. And um, they're just really messy to work with and I also love her pigments because they're very complex they're not just like flat pigments like just one color to them they have dimension to them which makes them very unique uh, the next thing here is even star which is her very first lip butter and it is gorgeous it is a bronze shade with uh, some hints of pink to it uh, here it is right here it's very wearable you can wear this alone or on top of a lipstick or a lip liner to enhance the color. And then two cream shadows. Uh, this is My Precious. This is the only product that I didn't use in my tutorial. Not because I don't absolutely love it. I think it is absolutely stunning. And this is uh, supposed to resemble the ring from Lord of the Rings. So it is a antique gold and here it is you can definitely wear these colors alone they wear really nicely they're very long lasting and then this is lock barrier which is probably my favorite thing from the entire collection 
um, it is a more harder um, consistency so you do have to warm it up with your fingers um, but it is beautiful and again it's very long lasting and here it is that is lock barrier which is a coppery reddish brown and then lastly we have lady of light which is a cream face highlighter and it's very reminiscent of uh, Max cream uh, base color in I believe pearl it's like a beigey highlight with a beautiful sheen to it it's absolutely stunning and um, these do have mirrors to them just to um, let you know as well as the cream shadows so I absolutely love the packaging of these as well very sleek um, and yeah again I will be doing a full on review of pumpkin and poppy very shortly so stay tuned for that and if you want to see how I created this look then just keep watching I already applied my favorite primer which is the all natural face vegan eyeshadow primer in buff and it is a skin tone shade and then I'm going to apply Lock Barrier, which is the one of the cream shadows from the One Ring Collection from Pumpkin and Poppy. And this is a coppery reddish brown. It's gorgeous. I wore this alone uh, over a primer, of course. But I'm just going to apply this on my lid and also up into the crease area. And Lock Barrier is based off of Gimli from The Lord of the Rings. It is inspired by his beard and his armor. So next, I am going to take Evil Eye, which is a bright, true red-orange. And I am going to apply this on top of my lid area. And um, I like this on top of Lock Barrier because... It kind of mutes out the color a bit. It's not as intense. So this color may be, you know, intimidating when you first look at it, but you can definitely just sheer it out a bit. And on top of Lock Barrier, it almost looks more of a terracotta shade. So I think it's just beautiful. And Evil Eye is based off of Evil Saran from Lord of the Rings. Next, I am going to take Shire, and Shire is a greenish gold, and it has a beautiful duochrome to it, which makes it a very unique color. I really love this color a lot, and I'm going to take a Sigma fl uh, fluffy brush, and uh, this is the E40, and I am going to apply this. Uh, to the edge of my lid and also up into the crease, but only halfway. And I'm just feathering this pigment on. It gives it a more blended effect. And then up into the crease. Next I'm going to take Archer, which is by far my favorite pigment. It is a golden beige with some taupe undertones. It is very beautiful and it is based off of Legolas and his blonde hair and also his metallic bow. I'm taking the same E40 blending brush and I am applying this to the other half of my crease and I'm also going to blend it into Shire and also uh, to my inner corner as well. This color is absolutely stunning and it is even more beautiful when it is a wet pigment. It just gives a beautiful sheen. I absolutely love it. Next I'm going to take Strider which is a deep matte hunter green and this is based off of Argon which is the Ranger of the North and it is based off the color of his cape. Taking the same E40 blending brush because I'm trying to use 
less uh, brushes, less is more. And I'm just applying that right on top of Shire. I just want to deepen up this green a bit. I'm going to go back in with Evil Eye and I'm going to use this on top of this crease color just to kind of warm it up a bit and to help blend it out. Since I don't have a matte highlighter shade from Pumpkin and Poppy, I'm just going to take this All Natural Face Pigment. This is in Fawn and it's just a skin tone shade if you can see that there. Very light and I'm just going to apply this to my brow bone and I am just taking a big fluffy shader brush from Eco Tools and just slightly applying this to the brow bone area and it helps to just clean up any harshness as well so I'm just going to take it down a bit as well just to clean up any harshness and also on the edge I'm going to take Lady of Light which is a cream face highlighter I'm going to use this on my brow bone as a highlight and this is like a beigey sort of highlight with a beautiful sheen to it it reminds me of Max cream color base in uh, pearl I believe I'm just applying this right on top of my brow bone And I'm also going to apply this in my inner corner. Next, I'm going to take Stila Smudge Stick in Starfish, which is a green with some golden flecks in it. And I'm applying this to my waterline. Next, I'm going to take Wise Wizard, which is a matte medium gray with blue undertones. And this is based off of Gandalf from The Lord of the Rings. And I'm just going to take a pencil brush. This one is from Sigma. It is the E30. And I am placing this on my lower lash line. I'm going to take Archer once again, which is this beautiful golden taupe. And I am applying this also to the upper half of my inner corner on my lower lash line. And also into the inner corner. Taking Wise Wizard again and the same pencil brush, I'm just going to apply this basically to the socket of my eye, right where that crease actually is, and just define it a little bit more. And I'm placing this at a diagonal. If you can see that there. And then I'm going to blend it with a clean blending brush. This is from Sonia Kashuk. Next I'm going to line my upper lash line with Jordana Fabuliner in black. And then I'm going to use the Hard Candy Flat to Fab Mascara. And then I am applying these Ardell Double Ups 201. So these are the finished eyes. I hope that you guys enjoyed them. And now I'm going to do the rest of my face. I know my hair is a little bit messy, these are second day waves, um, but I actually like the messy look, so it's all good. Um, I already applied my foundation, which is the Naked Skin Foundation from Urban Decay, my favorite. And then I applied the Pumpkin and Poppy Oil Absorbing Mineral Veil to set my foundation. This is an amazing product, it's great if you have oily skin, it's great if you have drier skin, it's just a great setting powder and it has a slight sheen to it, um, you're probably not going to notice but you really can't tell once it's applied to your face so I love it. And then uh, I am going to use a bronzer from Pumpkin and Poppy as well, this is the Tara Moisturizing Bronzer and it does have a slight golden sheen to it. It's beautiful. And I'm just going to warm up my face and just contour a bit. I'm going to use this Sonia Kashuk uh, powder brush. I'm 
I'm going to go back in with Lady of Light's Cream Face Highlighter. And I am just going to highlight the areas that I typically always highlight, which is down my nose. I'm going to keep it bow. Below my lip. And on my cheekbones. And if you can see that there, it just adds a beautiful uh, sheen. And it's not um, too overpowering. It's just a very slight sheen. I'm going to take a blush from Pumpkin and Poppy as well, and this is Raja, and it looks like a pretty intense orange. It does have a really nice uh, gold sheen to it, but you can definitely share this out. She did formulate this blush for more medium to darker complexions, but anybody can definitely pull off this blush. It's absolutely stunning, and you really don't need a highlighter when you use this uh, a blush because it does have that golden sheen but um, I did apply a highlighter today as well this is a Tarte stippling brush next I'm going to use this Georgiana lip liner this is rock and rose and I'm going to fill in my lips I'm going to take Even Star, which is Pumpkin and Poppy's first ever lip butter. It is beautiful. It is a bronze shade, but it has hints of pink to it, so it makes it very wearable. And I love it, especially on top of this lip liner. It just enhances the beauty of this lip butter. I really love this formulation. It's very hydrating. I also love that it smells of mint. So it's very refreshing at the same time. It's amazing alone, but um, I definitely love wearing it on top of a lip liner. And then lastly, I'm going to use Pumpkin and Poppy's lip gloss. This is in Ice Cream Assassin. It is a beautiful beige champagne lip gloss, and it has, I believe, purple mica. So it's quite unique, in my opinion. And I'm just applying this to the center of my lips to get a sort of ombre effect. And it just highlights that area really nicely. And this smells of uh, vanilla and spearmint, I believe. It smells really, really good. So this is my version of the One Ring Collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Chrissy, if you're watching, I hope that I did this collection justice. It is an absolutely stunning collection, and you just keep getting better as you progress. And I cannot wait to get my hands on the Ice Dance Collection, uh, which is based off of Edward Scissorhands, which is my favorite movie of all times. So I'm pretty hyped about that collection. Um, I'm going to link her shop down below, so you can definitely check it out. Um, I am going to be doing a full-on review of Pumpkin and Poppy very soon, so stay tuned for that, and um, I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.